And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X on the next scope, and let's get on with the rest of the game. Okie dokie. Well, I, I think... I, I can't speak. I think it's time that we explored a little bit of this area. Why would the lady have such a thing? Well, I don't know. This may well answer a few questions. I want to know why that blooming temple hand was going through Yuna's stuff. What I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Quado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon. Killed by my own son. Now that is heavy. But I do not fault him. Because I was not wise enough. He has suffered. And because so we got some horrible feedback there that made my head explode. Protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But Whoever is watching this, I implore you to stop Seymour. Stop my son. So Seymour is a traitor? Who'd have seen that coming? <laughs> Will Yuna be alright? <clears throat> Without us, no. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. But he's a maester! Oh, shut up, Waka. Uh, fine. Stay here if you want. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This can't be happening. Just one thing that I missed earlier, folks. If you actually go back to that chest where there was that Chocobo breeder dude, that's actually got a few... I think it's a few thousand... I think it's something like that. A few thousand jill in it. Once you go back there after you've beaten that boss, um, then you can actually get it. Cats. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Chest. Shaken, not stud. Right then. Let's go deeper into the Macalania Temple. Kimari's up ahead. Go. Right. Left. Badumch. We will protect Yuna from anyone, even a maester. Well said. <laughs> uh, this can't be happening. If he is truly at fault, it must be done. Well, if he is, I'm sure we'll kill him. Though if he summons his summon, though, how we're going to take that thing down, I have no clue. Seymour! Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me! Well said. Yuna! Oh, but why? 
We saw Jiskel's sphere. You killed him. So what? Yuna knew all along. What of it? Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? <laughs> well then, why have you come here? I came... That's what she said. I came to stop you. I see. You came to punish me then. Seema, let's just dance. What a pity. You said ah, that without moving course. your lips. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The code of the Guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. Maester Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too! All right! Maester Seymour! So be it. Let's tango! Now, the annoying people in this fight are his two little guards. So we're going to work on them first. Okay, now we can use trigger commands. Now, what that will do is, um, you can sort of bring down... I think it's the defense and stuff. I think there's a few different ways of doing it. Um, I'm not going to do that, though, for the time being. And we'll try and do it without using the trigger commands. Right, we're going to switch back in Riku. Now, if she's got Dispel, which is brilliant, because it means that she can take off their little annoying moves. Now, we're going to steal from these Guados. Alright, Wacker, you're back in the game. Now, let's do a silent attack on him. Okay, rather powerful. I'll give him that one. Okay. Ah, good. Nothing to steal. Good. That's why I was just double checking. Good. Your magic is gone. Now that's why you steal from them suckers, folks. Because if you don't steal that high potion, they'll keep using auto potion for a while. I think. Don't hit Riku, hit Tidus, or hit Waka. Okay, let us silence that sucker as well, if I can. Actually, no. We'll steal from Seymour. Let's see what he's got. A turbo Heather. Okay, they're not dumb. Right. That's one down.
Another one bites the dust. Whew, my hell up. Feel my pain. Come, Anima. Oh, God. So we've got a name for it. I knew it was going to be lame and summon this idiot. Okay, okay. This could be tough. I bet you out as well. We can't slow it with Tidus. Yuna, the new Aeon. Oh, we could use the new Aeon, but have you seen how slow this thing is? Now that thing's overdrive gorge is really going to sort of go quite fast, I would imagine. Let's see what we get if we steal from it. Silence grenade, not that fussed about him to be honest. I think I'll bring. Uh, um, tell you what. I have to admit, I don't like the boss music for this. It's very kind of boring. Nope, we'll bring in Aaron, I think. But it's immune. Yeah, thought it would be. This is gonna hurt. That did hurt. So it can actually do a one-hit kill. Not exactly what we wanted. Let's see if we can delay it. No, we can't. Fudge. I mean, either way, we're going to knock it out on the next turn, so... We've pretty much got it anyway. <laughs> we overkilled it. Haha, <laughs> brilliant! That power that defeated Anima, it will be mine. It won't. Okay, so he's got the same amount of HP, but we can't silence him. Nope. Knew that would be too good to be... I didn't mean you, no. He's got no statuses on him, so I think it's time that we gave him a slice and dice. Goodbye, Seymour. Quite simple, really. That was for Lord Giscal. You would pity me now? That was quite an easy boss fight, considering it had been leading up to that. I better get some decent stuff for that. Lord Seymour! What happened here? What, what... What have I done? Wait a minute, it's not our fault at all! How fast he did you say first. that? He's the bad guy. You, you did this? Yuna, 
Send him. No, stop! Stay away from him, traitors! We're finished. Not yet, we're not. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here. I had better get some decent rewards. Thank you. Ooh, two black magic spheres. That's not bad. And we have Shiva, and I'm obviously going to rename her. I always call Shiva the Leia. And now, honestly, folks, she is going to be probably one of the only Aeons I'm actually going to use. I'm a big fan of Shiva, or the Leia, in this game. Okay, then, Riku. You can go. I've forgotten which way I was taking her. Wasn't I taking a... I've got reflect. I'm taking her up, aren't I? Yeah, that's it. Take her a little bit further round. Whacker! You need to go down there. Still can't believe I missed out that pathway before. So frustrating that. Okay, Yuna. Um. So I could move her down one to get a bit more HP. I could... I think it might be an idea to just try and move her along to get to Cura for the time being. So if we can get Kira, you see. It means that because we've unlocked it, as long as we get a white magic spear later on, we can learn it, I believe. I'll just double check. There you go. Activates black... If we can get some white magic spheres later on, we can use that to unlock all these kind of black magic spheres that have already been gotten. So that's pretty cool, to be honest. Silent Strike, not bad. Don't think I've got anything else particularly interesting on that one. Wasn't actually watching what I got. But never mind. We shall heal up. Uh, cannot go that way. Fair enough. I thought there was some... Ah, now this is the puzzle I was thinking of. 
Now, from what I remember, it's quite a big one, this. That's what she said. There's Villa, yeah. Let's see what I could teach her if I wanted to. You see, there's not much we actually... No, we can't teach her much at the moment. I will start teaching her, though, as time goes on. Right, then. Puzzle time. Ah, now I can see a destruction sphere there. Or something similar to a destruction sphere. Alright, hold on. If I put that in there... If it'll let me put it in there. Thank you. And then if I take this one out of there. Okay, so that moves that. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. What happens then if I take this out? And put that in here. Quick answer is it does nothing, folks. Right. You see, it looks like we can get at that, but we can't. So... Would we then have to put the glyph sphere into there? Oh, it slides. Okay, that isn't exactly what I wanted to do there, but. I wonder if I have to push it into things, do I? Okay, I don't think that's it either. Hmm. Well, that is rather curious. Set it as well, aren't it? Darn it. Okay, okay. Alright, ah, well, do I do this? Take that out there. Nope, don't put it back in. That's what she said. Push that to there. Oh, that breaks them as well. Okay. Ha ha ha! Misa was right. Alright, so I need to leave that in for now. Fair enough. So, do I have to take... Of 
Because that basically wasn't doing anything, that one, folks. Put that into there, perhaps. No, I don't, surprisingly. I see where I do put it, though. Okay, okay, so we take that out. That does bugger all. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Now, is that a Macalania? Yeah, that's a Macalania sphere. So, you see, we're slowly building a bridge across this bit. And then you see, I assume... Assume then that actually hold on, no. We take that Macalania sphere. Just give me a bit of time, folks. I'll get there with this. I'll get there. And you see that one's almost like a trick one, it does buzz. It does absolutely nothing, that one. Okay, a bit confuzzled, but we'll get there. that point in that way. So it's pointing in that direction, but why? What would happen if I was to stand on the reset thing? Right, the platform is back up here. So... If I was to put... Oh yeah, that puts that there. We've done that before, haven't we? 